My name is Bob Stern. I'm a geologist here at the University of Texas at Dallas. My research concerns uh, an aspect of plate tectonics, specifically uh, associated with convergent plate margins, where one of the plates goes underneath the other one and is returned into Earth's mantle. Uh, my, I have two areas that I've been studying ever since I got my PhD. One of them is in the Western Pacific. Uh, it's an active island arc, uh, also associated with a lot of submarine volcanoes in the Marianas, which is south of Japan. And the other is a site where this process of, of uh, island arc formation and subduction has gone on uh, in the past and generated new continental crust. This is uh, Northeast Africa and in Arabia. Uh, I've been studying those rocks there this, uh, the same amount of time. So in addition to these areas where I concentrate detailed studies, um, I'm interested in broad topics of how do new subduction zones form? How is the lithosphere broken and returned back into Earth's mantle? What kinds of physical conditions are required to set this up? How do we recognize it in the past? And I'm also interested in the larger scale question of how long has plate tectonics been going on in Earth? Plate tectonics is unique to this planet. It's not something that we see on any of the other rocky planets. And there must be special conditions that exist on Earth. And those special conditions may have only developed recently. So I'm interested to ask the ancient rock record uh, questions about when did plate tectonics begin. And it's uh, quite controversial, very interesting, and, and I think is one of the most important unresolved questions uh, in the solid earth sciences. I'm Carlos Aiken of the University of Texas Dallas Department of Geosciences Cyber Mapping Laboratory. Uh, cyber mapping is defined as integration of, of uh, laser scanning and digital photography and satellite positioning among other things, other sensors. Um, we build, we're actually at the bleeding edge of building three-dimensional photorealistic models of mainly geology around the world uh, being used by all companies as well as by academic groups. We're also funded by National Science Foundation to try to develop this kind of modeling for educational purposes, that virtual field trips for uh, undergraduate classes to go places where they can't necessarily ever visit or visit before they get there and come back and be able to comment on it. And, and discuss and analyze what they've just done. Uh, I have patents with students on the methodology uh, and um, I have uh, worked all over the world on this kind of application but uh, the real interesting thing about it is that uh, we're trying to develop things that nobody else has done. Um, people have done, the con done it conceptually but we're actually trying to develop solutions to problems people don't realize exist. My name is John Ferguson. I'm a professor of geophysics at the University of Texas at Dallas. For about the past 15 years, I've been working on the development of what we call 4D microgravity. This involves making very precise, a uh, few parts per billion of the Earth's gravity field measurements and repeating them in time. Uh, the near surface parts of the Earth are porous materials and the fluids in the pores can change over time. So in, a, in a, an aquifer we can have uh, air and water replacing each other. In a petroleum reservoir we might have uh, water replacing uh, gas. Uh, using the microgravity techniques we can monitor the migration of fluids through the earth and we've been pretty successful in doing this in, in a number of cases. Right now I'm working on an application of this to CO2 sequestration and we hope to demonstrate that we're actually storing CO2 in a reservoir by using the microgravity techniques. So we think this is a very exciting development. Uh, modern technologies made this possible and uh, the, uh, the future of uh, geophysics is going to depend on innovations like this. My name is Miao Wang and I'm a PhD student uh, and my major is in geoscience. I'm working with Dr. Carlos Aiken and uh, I'm trying to develop 
um, simple tools for the users to interacting with the 3D photorealistic outcrop model using iPad actually. And it's really cool and I like to work here is because we have this easy going environment and uh, have a great cool people in this group. So that's all about that. My name is Alexander Braun. I'm a geophysicist by training and currently an associate professor in the Department of Geosciences at the University of Texas at Dallas. My research focus lies on using space uh, geodetic satellite observations to understand Earth systems. I'm particularly interested in the dynamics of these systems and satellite technology provides us with a monitoring tool to detect and determine these changes of the Earth systems in time. Uh, commonly, remote sensing is referred to as taking pretty pictures from a satellite or an aircraft platform. But there's much more to it. You can actually measure real physical parameters, such as the gravity field or the magnetic field. And most importantly, you can detect surface deformation of the Earth. The Earth is a very active planet, and it is crucial for us to understand when and where the Earth is moving. Uh, currently, I'm working on a project which involves satellite and unmanned airborne vehicles, UAVs, uh, as the monitoring platforms. What we're trying to do is to monitor the changes of barrier islands in the Gulf of Mexico. These barrier islands protect the mainland from storm surges and hurricanes. And by doing this, they are uh, prone to erosion and uh, deposition processes. So uh, these islands may lose several meters per year and uh, uh, we want to exactly determine where that happens and where this material is deposited eventually. Uh, so what we did is we used satellite technology such as satellite altimetry, synthetic aperture radar, and uh, hyperspectral cameras and uh, made these systems smaller and lighter and uh, this enables us to put these on robotic helicopters or other UAVs such as drones um, which autonomously uh, monitor these barrier islands. Uh, ultimately, UAVs close the gap between coarse satellite observations and sparse uh, ground-based observations. So they employ high-tech, um, state-of-the-art technology and assist us in understanding this dynamic Earth system barrier islands much better. My name is Graham Mills. I am a PhD student at the University of Texas at Dallas. I study uh, in the geosciences department terrestrial uh, LIDAR waveform analysis, which is beyond just looking at the geometry of the rock outcrops we scan. We're hoping to uh, extract additional features such as uh, fracture patterns, surface roughness, and uh, surface rock composition. And uh, what I enjoy about working here is I'm free to research in directions I choose and I'm able to travel all over the world to study what we do.